After rigorous testing and witnessing its impressive performance, Saya, a leader in LTL freight transportation, has added two Tesla semi-trucks to their fleet. Stick around as I dive into the Saya announcement, compare the Tesla semi to the competition, and share a progress update of the Tesla semi mass production factory that is currently under construction. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. The Tesla Semi is not your run-of-the-mill electric truck. It is a disruptor. With unparalleled range and efficiency and also cutting-edge technology, the Tesla Semi has set the standard for commercial trucking. In addition, thanks to its range and efficiency, the Tesla Semi truly is the only battery electric semi-truck that is a practical replacement in most cases for a diesel semi-truck, and I believe this is why companies are taking notice. Now, while quite a few companies have expressed interest in the Tesla Semi, and there is a pretty good list of companies that have placed pre-orders for the Tesla Semi, since the truck is still being produced in small numbers, previously only Tesla and PepsiCo had these trucks in their fleet, but now one of the leading LTL freight companies, Saya, has added two Tesla Semis to their fleet as well. Saya published a press release on this topic, and in this press release, it was written, quote, Saya LTL Freight has partnered with Tesla to introduce two of the company's first Tesla semi-trucks to its fleet. During a demonstration period held earlier this year, Saya rigorously tested the Tesla semi in its operations, with a tractor evaluated on its range, payload capacity, grade performance, and driver comfort. This press release then included a few quotes from Saya's Executive Vice President of Operations, Patrick Sugar, and Sugar was quoted as saying, quote, We were very impressed with the Tesla Semi as it demonstrated an ability to handle both local and longer haul applications while still delivering notable power and efficiency. During a demonstration earlier this year, we achieved 1.73 kilowatt hours per mile. Our drivers were equally impressed, noting the smooth acceleration, comfortable design, and its ability to maintain speeds on steep inclines, even while hauling heavy payloads. This feedback underscores the enormous potential of the Tesla Semi. So once again, in real world testing, the Tesla Semi has impressed another company. PepsiCo has been impressed with the Tesla Semi performance, DHL as well, and now Saya. The Tesla Semi truly is ready for prime time to use words from the DHL press release in the past. And the Tesla Semi efficiency seems to be very consistent between these companies. Of course, their Saya noted an efficiency of 1.73 kilowatt hours per mile. In DHL's trials, they were able to achieve 1.72 kilowatt hours per mile. And PepsiCo was able to achieve 1.61 kilowatt hours per mile. The Tesla Semi's impressive efficiency is what makes the truck truly practical because it allows a truck to get 500 miles of range fully loaded without sacrificing cargo capacity, and I'll highlight that shortly. But nonetheless, when you compare this range to the competition, the Tesla Semi is far above the competition, and the closest competition comes from the Nikola TRE. Beyond that, when you look at trucks like the Volvo VNR Electric, their website does list the range at up to 275 miles, but the website makes it very clear in a footnote that the actual typical range of the 275 mile max range truck is 220 miles. However, not only does the Tesla Semi get much more range than the competition, but it's also able to charge much faster than the competition as well. With Tesla's new V4 supercharger cabinet, that was announced to allow the Tesla Semi to receive up to 12 100 kilowatts of charging or 1.2 megawatts of charging. And when you compare this to the, the closest, which is the Nikola TRE, that vehicle is able to charge it up to 350 kilowatts. And then the rest of the competition is less than that. You can see there the Volvo VNR electric up to 250 kilowatts. Then you have the Freightliner E Cascadia, which if you plug it in with a single charger, it's able to do 180 kilowatts. If you do a dual charger with that, it's able to do 270 kilowatt charging. The extended range pack BYD 8TT up to 216 kilowatt charging. Then the Kenworth and Peterbilt trucks up to 150 kilowatt charging. So the Tesla Semi is able to charge much faster than the competition, which allows the truck to be used even in a slip seat operation with very little downtime as compared to the competition, which makes once again the Tesla Semi the only one on this list that really truly can replace a diesel semi truck in most applications. The other trucks have many more compromises than the Tesla Semi. In addition, the Tesla Semi is able to have this kind of massive amount of range, 500 miles of range fully loaded without compromising payload capacity. 
Dan Priestley, earlier this year during the 2024 IAA Transportation Expo event, put up this slide on the screen and it showed that the total weight of the Tesla Semi was under 10,500 kilograms, which is right in line with some of the heavier diesel trucks. So to make the math easy, since Dan Priestley said the truck weighs under 10,500 kilograms, let's just call that 10,433 kilograms because that translates over to 23,000 pounds. And if the truck was pulling a 10,000 pound trailer, that would allow the cargo capacity to be around 49,000 pounds, which is basically right in line with a typical diesel semi, especially if you keep in mind the extra weight of fuel. And as you can see on this chart, a typical diesel semi, depending on the weight of the truck and the weight of the fuel, would likely have a cargo capacity of between 44,000 and 54,000 pounds. Now, as a reminder, one of the big reasons why the Tesla Semi is not in more companies' fleets is due to the fact that it's in very limited production right now. But Tesla is currently constructing their new mass production semi factory just outside of Gigafactory, Nevada. And now I want to give an update on that factory. Once again, during the 2024 IAA Transportation Expo event, during Dan Priestley's keynote, he mentioned, quote, now we are constructing a factory outside of Reno, Nevada, near one of our existing plants that will be capable of building more than 50,000 units a year. We look forward to scaling production throughout 2026. Here's a picture that Tesla shared in their Q1 2024 investors presentation in April of this year. And you can see there at that point, they were doing all the groundwork where the factory would be. And you can see Gigafactory Nevada in the background there. Then Tesla shared this picture in their Q3 investors presentation in October of this year. And at that point, you could see that they had done a lot more on the site and a lot of the steel structure was in place, some of the roofing and some of the sidewalls. Then on December 19th, Dan Priestley shared these images on X and wrote, quote, yesterday, Semi Factory Nevada topped off the main area of the building with the last major piece of structural steel. Fantastic design and execution by this construction team and our contractor partners with focus on safety and efficiency. The factory is going to rock. Dan Priestley then replied to his own post, quote, note there is another part of the building on an intentionally different timeline that has steel work remaining. Keep an eye out for progress there. With that being said, I definitely recommend that you subscribe to Zangler, Henrik Zane on YouTube who goes by Zangler. He's been filming some great drone flyover videos showing the progress of Tesla building out this semi factory. And in order for him to be able to keep this up, he needs your support. So definitely go over and subscribe to Zangler on YouTube. I will put a link to this particular video down below in the video description. But as you can see in this video, a lot of progress has been made on the outside structure of this factory building. And when it comes to the exterior, Tesla is of course still finishing up the roofing and is still finishing adding up some exterior walls, but it's coming together very well. And there's a little separate section here, and I believe this is what Dan Priestley was referring to, a separate building with a separate timeline. And this, according to the Zangler video, is where Tesla is building out a stamping building, and this is the foundation of that stamping building. And just so you know, this particular drone footage was filmed on December 21st of this year. If all goes well, I'm hoping that we see trial production of the Tesla Semi at this factory um, sometime next year. And it's going to be really exciting when Tesla starts ramping that up in 2026 as they ramp towards their goal of producing around 50,000 units per year out of this factory. That's really going to revolutionize the commercial trucking industry, especially once again, as I previously talked about, the Tesla Semi is so much better than the competition that it's going to be a no brainer for companies. It's going to save them money to put the Tesla Semi in their fleet. And because of the range, efficiency, and charging speed, companies truly can replace diesel semi trucks in their fleet with Tesla battery electric semi trucks. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd also like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and does help make this video possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.